Okay, welcome back. It is uh, Venice Allies, game number four between uh, Team, gosh, <laughs> between Team Rat King and Team Karma. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're actually looking at Karma's squad. Uh, with him is Sam the Butcher, MP Phil, and Chef Paris. Uh, his other squad's going to be all the way across the map. Uh, Arsenic is captain captaining with uh, Wayward One, Honky, and Anculator. I'd say that's a pretty uh, pretty fair split for uh, for Team Karma. Uh, for Rat King, he's uh, gonna be in the uh, southwest. It's gonna be him, Kramisi, Raven, and Drunken. And across from them in the red is gonna be Tiri, Flatline, Switch, and Cave. Interesting, uh, interesting way to divide their uh, their team up. Although I guess that'll work. So I don't know how how is this how what's gonna happen here? I have no idea. It is territory, so um, these these two teams, Karma and Arsenic, are gonna be allied, and Tiri and Rat King are gonna be allied, and they're gonna be uh, fighting each other, attempting to take all the flags on the map. Uh, the team to have uh, I guess the the two teams to have uh, the most flags by the end of the game will win uh, this this game for either Team Karma or Team Rat King. I guess Team Rat King is going to go to the north. I don't really know what's going what's, what's going on. Rat King saying they go south. So it so I guess they're going I guess they're going to Arsenic. And uh, I don't know what what's Cave asking if Switch is French. I don't think he is. There's just so much, so much going on, <laughs> so much chat in this game. It's pretty funny. That's the other thing that allies uh, prevents is being able to to speak to. The other team, you have to come in with a, uh, a strategy before the game starts. Um, something that you can, uh, you know, you, both team captains just kind of understand already coming into the game. Uh, attempting to communicate while in the game just means that the the other teams are going to know exactly what it is that you're uh, attempting to do. And we saw that uh, in previous Myth World Cups, um, the Northern Paladins were able to use that to their advantage. Um, by uh, I guess they spoke yeah, Finnish, so they would just speak Finnish, and nobody knew what they were saying. Okay, so uh, Switch has a couple of archers. Cave and Flatline both have some warlocks. Um, Switch also has a uh, mortar dwarf. Tiri opting Flag for captured. very few units. I guess he's just going to do pus. I'm not really sure what he's going to be doing. Flag captured. Flag. It almost seems as if Tiri doesn't have anything at all. He has that warrior. And he has a couple of... He has at least one pus, pus goal. But really not a whole lot. Oh, another warrior. I guess he's going to be scouting for his team. Uh, Arsenic with a couple of, uh, couple of archers. Wayward one with a warlock. And uh, Honky with the other warlock. So again, you know, arsenic. I guess arsenic takes the uh, the two archers and the mortar. Uh, Drunken's gonna lead the charge. Not surprisingly, Rat King taking the mortar door for himself. Flag uh, Raven capture. with a warlock uh, and capture. Drunken with a warlock. Kremisi with four archers. Looks like these uh, forces are gonna meet here if. Uh, if Team Racking can make quick work of uh, Arsenic Black. before uh, Karma arrives on the scene, they'll be in pretty good shape. Uh, Sam the Butcher takes the archers and mortar. And I think... Oh, here we go. Here's the Karma and Paris each taking a war, uh, one war warlock. Black. Gosh, can't even, can't even talk. Drunken's... Uh, Warlock 
basically going to die right here. That was preventable. I guess uh, Raven was a little bit slow in uh, in coming to his aid. I'm not really sure why that happened, actually. But on the other side, Cave is going to press with his goals. Flag. Flatline, if these goals can just run in here, they could uh, they could tear up arsenic before karma has time to react karma though is already on the scene and karmisi is forced to turn around and uh, and try to fend him off oh that could have been bad for drunken he is going to pick that up though oh and something bad happened to uh, team teary They lost quite a bit of Warlock, it looks like, among other things. So it looks like Team Karma is actually doing really well. Nice snipe there by Tiri. That was actually really good. It looks like they might be able to steamroll Arsenic here. Although uh, Wrecking and the Band getting cleaned up while this happens. Honky able to save his Warlock for the time being. Paris is going to clean up uh, Karmisi here. So Team Rat King basically out of the game at this point. I don't know what they have left, but it's pretty much gone. And what was that? Some crazy Flag. stuff happened here. Nice snipe there by Tiri taking out that uh, Warlock. Unfortunately uh, for Team Teary, Rat King's team has literally nothing left. And even though they're ahead in percentages, Karma and Arsenic combined are uh, <clears throat> have a lot more... Maybe not a lot more units, but they definitely have more players between them. Flag captured. And uh, and definitely uh, at least a, l a few more units as well, as uh, they're 99% combined to uh, Tiri's 86%. Oh, flag. I didn't quite see whose that was, but they just got sniped. Flatline got sniped. And uh, I guess that was Cave. Cave just got sniped. Oh man, so Paris and uh, Karma. I guess the those are both Karma. Captured. Karma definitely is showing us uh, why he's considered one of the best players in Myth. Taking out both of Team Tiri's Warlocks Flag in one fell captured. swoop. Switch is going to lose his captured. Archer here. Flag captured. Nothing Team Tiri can do. And this game is pretty much over, I'd say. Um, Team Tiri is on the run. There's nothing they can do. All they have is Flatlands Mortar Dwarf, and Flag there's just so capture. much opposition. They do have some taggers running around, Flag but uh, they're team outnumbered and outgunned. Rat King's team finally bows out. And... Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, even though they're up in flags, it's just a matter of time. There's six minutes remaining. There's just too much time for them to be able to fend off um, both of these forces. Tiri says he's going to suicide. End the game. Move into game five. Flag captured. He's had enough. <laughs> and, uh, Flag. yep. Cave takes a hit. Flatline's gonna move in. He wants to get at least a, another, another kill with his mortar dwarf. Well, at least one kill with his mortar dwarf. Doesn't quite get it though. But manages to aggregate uh, a lot of uh, Chef Paris's units. He doesn't turn around though to deal the finishing blow. And Chef Paris heals up all of his warriors. Kind of overkill. Flag captured. 
And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Cave is going to lose pretty much all of his stuff there. Flatline is all that's left between uh, Team Karma and Victory in, in game number four here. Going to be a duel here between Wayward One and Flatline. Ouch. That hurt. Looks like Wayward One is probably going to win. But uh, Flatline could get his dream of a kill, and indeed, <laughs> kills himself and Wayward One. And Rat King going off. Flag capture. <laughs> Rat King and, and Drunken ex <coughs> exchanging words here. Oh man, this is pretty hilarious. Flatline manages to get a second kill. Ow! And manages to actually get four kills total with that uh, that mortar dwarf. Flag captured. Flag. Captured. Okay, so there's a there's an issue Flag here. Contested. With uh, racking, moving Drunken's units supposedly, according to Drunken. So here's Tiri. He he's just he's begging Karma t Flag to kill him. Contested. Is Karma gonna be able to kill him? Probably. Tiri walked. He could have. Tiri could have taken him out, but <laughs> instead, uh, basically commits suicide there. Game over. <laughs> End the alliance. All right, so Arsenic team's going to sweep all of the flags and end the game early. Uh, that's another notch for uh, Team Karma. They're up three games to zero with the tie uh, between uh, Rat King's team and Karma's team. Uh, let's, let's take a look at each of these teams. I'm interested to see. Uh, for Arsenic, looks like Anculator doing the best. Seven kills, three losses, 65 damage. Wayward one uh, second with 56 damage. Breaking even, six kills and six losses there. Honky not doing a whole lot, and Arsenic not doing a whole lot either. Uh, for Team Karma, uh, Karma himself, 78 damage, 11 kills, three losses. He managed to snipe two Warlocks with his own, so that is pretty laudable. Chef Paris, 56 damage, seven kills, two losses. Sam the Butcher, uh, breaking even, and Empiphil. Uh, managing to get one more kill than than losses, but everyone in positive ratios there. Um, for uh, Karma's squad, Tiri's squad on the other hand, everyone doing super poorly. Uh, Cave with the most kills with five, but uh, nobody getting above 28 damage, which is not too good. Not too good. Um, Rat King's squad. Best player um, from the numbers is going to be Drunken with 42 damage, but uh, Kremisi had the most kills with 5. Uh, he had 36 damage, Rat King with 37. Not too good. Barely, uh, with those two teams combined, barely scraping to, you know, barely able to get above 200 damage. Uh, 23 kills between them to uh, nearly 40 kills, 39 kills for uh, Karma's squads combined, and uh, over 300 damage. Okay, so that's it for Game 4. Game 5 is next, and I hope to see you there. Uh, once again, I uh, hope you're enjoying these videos, and uh, I am the new, new, new mutator. I can hardly even say my own name, and uh, Game 5 is coming up.